Yellow, Gamer Rome is back. And in this video, we're going to become the Buddha Raid boss in Black's Fruits. But before we start, you can show your support by using star code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. Where the actors slam on oh, their dancing forward, there's your slam! There's the dump! Okay, so in order to become this monster, we need some things. First off, we need some wings. So in order to do that, we need the angel race, right? So let's head to Tort and ask him to change our race. So far, we got the mink race, right? Hopefully, we get it fast. Wait a minute. Guys, first try, we got the angel race. We're so lucky. But our wing is so small. <laughs> Compared to this monster, so... We need to awaken it, right? So time to head to the great tree. Guys, some requirements, you need V3 in order to do this. Also, to awaken your race, you need to get the gear from the Mirage Island. I've made videos of that. So after that, you just need to climb the top of the great tree and wait for the full moon. Okay, here it is. Top of the great tree. Okay, so after that, you need to wait for the full moon. Next, pull the lever. Also, head to your trial. So you need two more players with different races to start your trial. Also, to find your trial for the sky or the angel race, it is kinda obvious but here it is, the logo. There you go. So next up, use your skills, all three of you, in front of your doors or the trials, okay? During full moon. So that's one, two, three. And if done correctly, there you go, there will be a countdown saying that the trial will start in five, four, three, two, one. So the trial here is you don't need to defeat anyone. You just need to jump on these clouds. Mm. So is it hard game or not? Really depends to you. But if you're playing, uh, what call that? What game is that? The Tower of Hell? Yeah. It's kind of easy to be honest compared to that game. There you go. So I will be going through this trial. Anyways, additional information. Every time you do this trial, it gets harder. So after finishing your quest, you need to fight the two other players. Sadly, there you go, but there can only be one. One player that can awaken his, her race. So there you go. You're going to fight them. Let's fast forward this one. Let's use our B skill. There you go. Maybe some combos, X skill. Okay, and boom. Okay, so after that, you will see this uh, light thingy. There you go. And you will just need to follow it, okay? So let's fast forward this one. Okay. So guys, in Awakening your race, you need at least 5 trials in order to awaken all the gears. So here are the gears. So first gear is the Awaken Transform. So you can transform or awaken your, set, your uh, what do you call this, your race. And you can activate your transformation by attacking or getting attacked by someone. So once the bar, the red bar is full, let's go, press Y key. And you will transform or awaken your race. There you go. Really looks cool, guys. Okay, so now we have bigger wings, kind of similar to this monster, to this uh, Awakening Buddha Raid boss. Anyway, bonus part of this video is we're gonna fully awaken our angel race and head to the fifth trial. We're going to showcase all the skills. Why fifth trial gamer gnome? Because there is uh, some modifications here. Check this out guys, we're gonna do the fifth trial. Focus on this uh, cloud, on the upper right side, there you go, you see that? It's about to disappear. There you go. So guys, don't worry. It looks like it disappeared, but no. There you go. Just keep on waiting for it to appear again. Don't panic. There you go. And that's it. That's the hardest. I think this is the hardest trial. So once you finish this, everything is easy. Okay. There you go. It kind of looks longer too. And yeah, I think the clouds are already moving, right? In the first trial. Okay. And some more tips, your friends can just reset, no need for you to defeat them to make things faster. Check this out, reset. The other character, reset, okay? No need to fight and experience the pain of defeating your friend. Now follow the light and here you go guys. A fully awakened gears. So let's talk about the skills. First off, the red gear, okay? So the red gear is the prince of the skies. So allow the use to user to glide in the air by holding the dash button and Pre-flight by holding the jump button. So I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. So as you can see, guys, I will hold the space bar. There you go. This is the free flight. 
And if you push a dash or Q, there you go. It's gliding now. Okay, so it really looks cool, guys. One more time. There you go. Space bar hold. And Q to glide. Okay? So do you like this first skill? If you like this, comment it on the comment section. So now, time to move on to our next skill. Now we're going to talk about the blue gear. So the blue gear, uh, the king's rule. So guys, this one really looks cool. I'm gonna show it to you now because I'm excited. Check this out, guys. Okay, so we're gonna transform. So once you activate this gear, the skill, check this out. The aura surrounding your character. So every time someone goes near you, I'm gonna show it to you. There you go, there's damage. There's a slow and the, also there's uh, some distortion on your the other player's screen. So I'm gonna show it to you on Joy Boy's point of view. Okay, so guys, this really looks cool. I'm telling you, if you're looking for a race to awaken, this is the race to be. Okay, so as you can see, check this out, guys. The screen is uh, gray. There you go. And also, his character cannot move. Okay, there's slow, there you go, and damage. So guys, this one really looks cool. So now let's go back to becoming the Awakened Buddha boss. So guys, how can we do it? By awakening our Buddha skill. But first, we need to eat, yes, Buddha fruit. So you need a Buddha fruit. So I really don't know how you'll get it. You can buy it or you can trade your fruits for it. As you can see, we already have the Buddha fruit. So now let's do the Buddha raid. Don't worry, we're gonna fast forward this one. But guys, I'm gonna show you uh, something that's really cool. I was also amazed how easy it is for me to finish the Awakened or the Buddha raid because of, yes, this V4, uh, what do you call this, Angel race. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Guys, to make it faster, we're gonna fast forward this until we reach the fifth island, okay? There you go. So we are here in the fourth island. And also, we're gonna fast forward this into fighting the boss. So first, we're gonna eliminate the other uh, mobs and one-on-one -on -one with the boss. Guys, I'm gonna show you how good this transformation is. Okay, so fast forward, guys. There you go. Okay, so as you can see, there you go. We're already transformed, right? See that? Guys, check this out. The boss is not moving. What is the reason? Guys, the reason is, remember, one of the skill, the king's rule skill. <clears throat> so once you awaken it, there you go. Guys, the Buddha boss or the Buddha boss raid cannot move. So you can keep on using your M1 to defeat it. There you go, guys. It's not moving at all. There you go. So it's very easy to defeat, to be honest. But once your transformation is finished, uh, that's a big problem. So you need to use some of your skills, your dash, dash, dash. <laughs> and since we uh, our Z skill here is not yet awakened, you cannot go in the water to regenerate some of your HP because, again, you're not still waterproof. <laughs> so there you go, guys. So once we finish this one, we can now have an awakened Z skill and we also have some wings. Pretty big wings. And we can now become the monster that we saw in that video. <laughs> I mean, in that picture. There you go. As you can see, I'm having a hard time here. So, gamer, know what item are you using? I try using the lay uh, item. Oh, there you go, guys. It's done. Okay, good job to us. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so guys, just awaken a session. The first skill, Z skill, and here, guys. Let's try it. Z skill. Okay, good job, guys. Now, it looks like uh, we've achieved our goal here. So now, the real question is, Gamer Nom, can the Awakened Z skill fly? I mean, the Awakened Z skill of the Buddha fly? Let's try it. There we go. Okay, we're not yet transformed. Guys, I really want to make this fly because just in case it flies, this one is really good, right? There we go, Awakened. Oh no. Oh no, guys. Oh no, it cannot glide, it cannot fly, even though we have Awakening Race V4 on Angel. So sadly, it cannot. And guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. We become the Awakened Buddha Race boss. So that's it. To all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom. Gamer Nom out.